Hey, Jason Moss here, and today I want to show you how to migrate a website over to WPX Hosting, which is actually my favorite host um, out there right now, and I'll show you a few reasons why, but um, very simple video of how to migrate over to WPX Hosting. Um, migrating can be a little confusing if you don't know what you're doing, but WPX Hosting makes it very, very simple. So first off, once you have a WPX hosting account okay um, all you do is go up to my account and then you go to maybe you don't go to my account uh, where is it okay it's under support and you go to website migration request all right you click on that and this form comes up all right and all you do you simply fill it out they will do the rest for you so as you can see for this example I am actually moving a site over as we speak this is not even an example this is for real um, so I'm moving over st. Louis water heater repair .com, so you just put in the URL all right the uh, login URL uh, this one is WP slash admin um, most of your cases for WordPress it's going to be the same it's going to be your URL slash WP dash admin unless you have a custom set up and you've changed that login area username and password um, I don't have those in right now because I don't feel like blurring it out and then you can just write a little description here um, as you can see it is currently hosted with SiteGround and it's infected with malware um, I like SiteGround hosting a lot but they do not clean up malware and I, I've just had a few issues with them as of late so I'm just going to go ahead and move it over to WPX Hosting um, because they'll clean up the malware and if it ever gets malware in the future they will clean it up for you free of charge um, no extra money out of pocket alright so I said just please clean that and migrate to my account alright and then you have a couple different options on how you want to do it you can give them cPanel access you can do FTP which is file transfer protocol um, SSH I always do it just with the backup okay just the file in the database so you click on that and then they need the URL that has the download backup so how do you get that I use a tool called manage wp.com and I put almost all my websites on here uh, record the backups and you can do a whole nother slew of things there's a it would take a whole nother video to describe what manage WP can do but I have it set up on here um, it makes backups and then all I did was download the backup to my computer and I uploaded it to Google Drive so as you can see I gave them a Google Drive link straight to the backup all right um, and then of course if you have mailboxes all right you're gonna have to click on that and then give them the information uh, the DNS information things like that but this this uh, website does not have any emails so I don't need any mails transferred over um, all of this stuff is things that you might have you might not a lot of times you do not um, you know you, a lot of times you're not using more than one database things like that so you can just leave them blank these are all optional and a lot of times you're not going to have anything with this okay but you might if you do have questions about this stuff reach out to their support their support is amazing um, let me whoop. all right and then they have uh, pre-configured settings for w3 total cache which is a plugin for WordPress websites they do it uh, specifically for their server setup so I always hit yes on that because they'll install their the cache plugin and do all the correct settings all right and then you just hit submit so it's very very simple just to show you real quick how responsive their support is it instantly pops up my information because it knows I am logged in all I do is hit start the chat and watch this they're already there how's your day going and I'm telling you guys this is this the chat support is even if you're not logged in okay this is by far the easiest support you will ever see um, I've worked with tons of different hosting accounts before and this support is easy 
Everybody says like site ground hosting is easy. You have to go through and do like a support ticket to even get to chat. It is nothing like this. These guys are amazing. So that's just a little side note. One reason I love WPX hosting, they are a little bit more expensive than others, but the support makes it worth it. They clean malware for free. Those things make it worth it uh, for me, especially on the sites that make me money. Okay, if if I have a site that's just kind of like a test site, I'll throw it on SiteGround or some other shared hosting. But if it's a site that needs to be up, that makes me money, maybe even like, a, you know, some kind of e-com site, something like that, or lead generation site, they're all on WPX hosting for me because I know they're going to be taken care of if something happens to them. But yeah, that's how you move over a website to WPX hosting. Um, as soon as I pause this video, I will just uh, put in my username and password, come down here and hit submit, and then I am done. They take care of the rest. Within 24 hours, they will have the site moved over, cleaned up, in my account. It's all good to go. Because um, right now, as you can see, St. Louis Water Heater Repair, it is down. This is SiteGround's little logo. This site is currently unavailable because it has malware on it. All right, but yeah, if you got questions, leave them in the comments below. I am happy to help with anything, but I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.